Yeah. Uh. Get ready. Throw the busted stream. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, here we go. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Oh my God! Everyone stayed on. Thank you so much. I love your faces. Here we go. <laughs> Wasn't this supposed to be the tutorial for setup? This is the uh <laughs> 3D Raz, it's messed up, dude. Burn. Burn. I I feel you. Um So Welcome back to the DK2 late night ridiculous stream. Uh that was a hard lesson in <laughs> what not to do with your DK2. What caused all of this? Everything was working fine. And what I did to test Elite Dangerous before the stream was I deactivated the scripts and deactivated um, the uh, OVR service, right? So I got rid of those two things. Elite Dangerous worked perfectly. I was like, yay! I tried to go back to show off some Oculus uh, config stuff. Uh, that didn't work. Ah, uh, oh no. Let's see. Oh, oh, I think these numbers might have been highly inflated. Or a lot of people left. <laughs> Damn. Burn. That hurts. Um, very good. So this is what we are a doing. Bam. Um, bloot -bloot -bloot. We are going... <laughs> Does anyone see video? What? The stream's live. My and my view numbers are all over the place. I, I don't I don't I don't know I, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's see if we could actually get something working, shall we? Oculus Config Tool, check. It's working. It recognizes the Rift, the camera, both the webcam and this camera on at the same time. For those of you that are wondering, yes, there is a conflict between the webcam. Um, and the oculus camera that's probably part of the reason why just restarting the service didn't didn't work um, it's pr probably my fault uh, well it is it's definitely my fault for sure <laughs> but also we're dealing with a we're dealing with a development kit this is not a consumer product we're uh, you know we're, we're making it work so where were we dk2 setup and review uh, we did that we got into some details kind of um, let's go into some actual blotty blotty blah with this. Let's go with the demo scene. So we're gonna go into show gameplay, show demo scene, and excellent. Do we get it? Yeah, there we go. So that's working. So what we have here is the demo scene um, that is. Uh, packed in with the oculus VR config tool uh, so you can look around it's kind of butter there's nothing around in the space um, so that is great uh, so I'm going to have my mouse it's on the plane of this thing that's in 3d space there and I am already sensing that I'm moving in the environment even without having any objects there I could totally sense that um, by the movement of the uh, the pattern on the ground uh, let's start it up and so I'm able to choose sitting and also I'm going to turn on the camera bound so you can kind of see where my camera is it's on top of my monitor and pointing down at me right um, so there we go so what I can do is, uh, I love this, it gets every little motion I make, like uh, sitting up in my chair, all of this is just wonderful. Um, so I can look around, it's really awesome, I want to look at this can. Um, now if you can notice there, I'm moving outside of the bounds of the camera, and then at that point the world just kind of sticks into place, and doesn't respond to me moving anymore, so uncomfortable when that happens. <laughs> Um, the best practices guide over at Oculus recommends that when a player gets out of the bounds of the simulation that you darken the screen and put a message or an arrow telling them to go back. Uh, that is actually what Eve Valkyrie does. Um, oh my god, being able to actually look around this, ah, see lost it again. Um, so again, this is the position of the camera. It's high, there's things that are going to be occluding it as well on my desk. Um, that's going to prevent it from seeing, but looks like 
the uh, the fuzzy eyes are not making a difference. I still got freaking functionality. That's great. Um, so I can get right up on this plant, right? Um, it's it's pretty it's pretty good horizontal. It's pretty awesome. I'm just like <laughs> looking at this blade of grass here. Um, that's out of control, and I can look at this. Uh, oh god, that looks so pretty. Um, <laughs> uh, that's that's insane. It's absolutely insane. Uh, what you can do is uh, as far as um, you know what what you're looking at. Uh, so very good. Stream is working. Uh, questions. Look under the desk. Look under the desk. Okay. Let's see if I could, uh, how far back I can go without disturbing my green screen too much. Um, I am, I just, I look, it's so not, I look back expecting to see my green screen <laughs> in the simulation. It's ridiculous. All right, I can put my chair right there. I'm still getting great positional. Let's see if I could, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. Chair's gone. Chair's out of here. All right, awesome. Let's see if I can just do this here. So here we go. So I'm still in the bounds of the camera. <laughs> it's I'm I'm inside of a chair, evidently. But I'm gonna look under, and it loses me. Loses me right there. Can I go back? This is the greens all the way back against the green screen. Ah, almost. I can almost look under the desk. Ah. <laughs> Oh my, I can just barely see under the desk, and it stops. Um, that's great. I get under, oh god, I'm, what am I headbutting? I headbutted a, a shelf or something. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, <laughs> oh, great. Um, so yeah, there's nothing underneath the desk there. Uh, let me see, can I... Let me embarrass myself even more. And make it so you can actually see me do this ridiculousness. All right, so anyway, I'm now on my knees, shut up, and, <laughs> and this is what I'm, uh, what I'm doing here. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to point the, uh, the DK2 camera down a little bit as well. That, it should change the angle of the in-game camera as well. Let me see. It did. Excellent. It just did. So I'm not sure what it's going to occlude with. Let's see if I can get a little lower. And yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm under the desk! Wow, it keeps it all the way here. Can you guys even still see me down here? Yeah, great. Um, I can look at that plant, kind of. Oh, nice. <laughs> There's nothing there, but I, I'm kind of, I don't want to run into it. <laughs> um, excellent. Uh, so this is remarkable uh, I'm gonna put my hands in front of my face as I go forward I'm gonna zoom in on the on the soda can uh, and see how far I can get in at this point Ah, lost it right there okay this is the boundary oh that's out of control oh that's out of control I'm I'm inside a chair that feels real weird I'm expecting to feel a chair there when I see it um, awesome so uh, why horizontals why horizontals there uh, there we go <laughs> what I do in the name of this community I swear um, but this this is what we've got going on ah all right let me get the chair back here uh, and chair is is pretty low got my good uh, EG shirt that's what I'm talking about so the um, <clears throat> the yellow red halo around things what that is is called a chromatic aberration. You might, uh, if you uh, don't know what that is, you should look up a uh, some talks by Abrash, Michael Abrash. He made some blogs about it, um, about basically uh, how the the lenses and also the the way that the photons are shot from the screen. Um, it's going to because light has different wavelengths, uh, it's going to spread those things out. So what's, what's going on is that they're reversing that process, uh, reversing what the lens would do, uh, reversing that in software. Um, so they're 
we go. The eyes are not interrupting anything. Um, if you take a um, a cell phone, damn it! I don't think there's I don't think there's any way I can show you this. Um, let me try anyway because screw it. There might be a possibility that I could. Um, let's see. Is this? No, there's too much reflection here. Oh wait! Oh no! All right, the webcam is seeing it now. Can you guys see it now? You can see the uh, the LEDs there. Wow! Why is it working now? That's sick. Um, so yeah, you can see that I have um, IR LEDs. Most webcams should be able to see IR, right? Uh, so you can see where they are. They're underneath the plastic. I'm gonna take the eyes off. You can see. I think I'm blocking maybe one by putting the eye up here so I think I'm blocking I might be blocking those two right there let's see uh, no if I could put it up high enough it might be okay so that's just barely not blocking any IR LEDs <laughs> there you go round the cover um, so that's uh, that's cool it will block the ones from the top though um, so there we go very good. So this is this is what we're doing so far. Welcome for those of you just joining. I'm Cymatic Bruce, VR Evangelist, and you are watching uh, Monday VR. It's a special episode. Normally this is Sunday VR, um, but uh, we're doing it on Monday because I just got my DK2 this morning. Um, why do you why do you call my eyes lame? <laughs> I like them. I like them, man. Um, and uh, there we go. I love the Muppet eyes. Uh, boom, ba boom, boom. Holotape, thanks for subscribing. I do have a subscribe button now, and it's awesome. Fun, fun. Um, what else do we got here? So this is this situation. So um, the last thing, uh, you can put stand. Uh, and basically all that does is change the position of the virtual camera in the space uh, so I do like the camera is now higher so if you look at this I put sit um, it changes my position there the cameras relatively to me it's in the same spot but everything else is is moving so it seems like the desk just went down right um, so that's like the standing position but again you would have to physically move your camera to fit your standing situation, if that makes sense. Like, uh, you know, if I stand up right now, I lose positional, absolutely. Like, I have positional, I have positional, I have positional, and now it's gone. Now I have nothing. And now it's back, right? So I have positional up to about here. And I, so I can't fully stand up. I would have to actually move the angle physically of the camera in real space um, to get that to happen, yeah? Um, so that is what's going on. Something to consider if you're drive, if you're designing um, a standing or sitting experience here. Awesome, beautiful. So what else do we have? Uh, -doo 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 -doo. Uh, seen a pick at the bottom of the camera. It does have a tripod mount. Uh, let's go ahead and exit out of this here. Uh, switch this out and let me show you uh, the camera so here is the DK2 camera uh, it has a tripod mount on the bottom which is uh, fantastic uh, there's two cables a sync cable and a USB cable that goes to the computer that come off of, uh, of that and it also is able to fold out multiple times does some interesting stuff there um, there we go so we can fold this all the way out uh, and and do this what what happened stream crashed no what happened no what's happening to the stream oh I'm getting zero KB why oh Jesus <laughs> 